Hi, I'm Tom, and today we're gonna go through our cider shed, and we're gonna make apple cider from the apples that we grew here on our own farm. And I'm gonna show you how we do it. So stick around and enjoy making apple cider the small farm way. Star of our show today. This is a, a cider press, and it's got an electric grinder on it, so you don't have to grind the apples. The key to making the apples perfect is that you want to let them set and cure for about a week or two. Uh, before you put them in there, otherwise it jams up. So you still want them crisp, but uh, not freshly picked. As it usually causes more problems than it solves. So what we've got, and this is a Happy Valley Ranch cider press. This is the, the deluxe model. It was given to me uh, by Happy Valley Ranch as a kind of a, a gift uh, when I retired from the military. One of the veterans groups had procured this for me and I was very, very pleased. Work Vessels for Veterans uh, is a nonprofit in Connecticut and uh, I had applied for one of their grants. And so they had given me this, uh, I think they gave me, they gave me a hundred steel fence posts and uh, four rolls of, of fencing and I think four gates. So they, they gave me a pretty good start. One of the other ones was uh, Homegrown by Heroes, which is in California. And they had bought me that first landscape trailer that I use uh, for hauling animals. Some, uh, and some small, other, some small other things. That was a smaller scholarship, but still very grateful for that. So anyway, this is the star of our show. This is our happy day. great things about this one is that you've got two of these baskets so you can be filling one with uh, pumice and pressing the other one so if your person pressing is fast enough you'll have that all pressed or she'll have it all pressed out and when this one's ready you slide it over and, and flip it around and then we have all this pumice
which is primarily used here for, for animal feed, and I don't give out too much of it because it'll interfere with their gut. So you don't want to give them too terribly much, you just give them a little bit at a time. Uh, but this is the pumice here, and some people will bait deer with it, and uh, they really frown upon that. Kind of takes away the sport in my mind, but that's my opinion. So we have all this pumice, and some of it we're going to use to, for the mothers uh, to make vinegar, and the rest of it will be animal feed. So nothing goes to waste. Some of our other videos that I've made, one was pruning the apple orchard, uh, picking, picking, and uh, a lot of a lot of different uh, care of, of the orchard. So make sure you check out those videos too. Another year, everything's all washed and put away. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.